This is the demo for the bean stitch to be used with pattern number 2146. Before you make the bean stitch, you will already have a foundation row of chain stitches or single crochet or double crochet. So you're going to start with chain one. And to do the bean stitch, you always need a, a row of multiples of two. And to start, you're going to chain one. And you're going to go directly into the next stitch, insert the hook through, pick up the yarn, and pull it through. Now yarn over and go back into that same stitch pick up the yarn and pull it through on the hook, you will have four loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook, in through the same stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, and now you have six loops on the hook. Pick up the yarn and pull it through all six loops. And now you do one chain stitch to lock all that into place. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to repeat all the way across the row. You're going to insert the hook into that stitch and pull up one loop. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook. Pick up the yarn, pull it through all six, chain one. And that will put bean stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and go all the way across so that I can show you what to do when you get to the end. Okay, I worked all the way across the row, and there's my last bean stitch. And now, there's that first chain one space. I'm going to slip stitch into that chain one space. And in this hat, you have your rows of front and back post double crochet, row of bean stitch, row of double crochet, bean stitch, double crochet, bean stitch, double crochet. Next row will be a double crochet row, so you chain two and you turn, and your double crochet in each one of these stitches all the way across the row and it's easier to see the stitches if you look from the top and just go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way across at the end of the row slip stitch to join in the top of the double crochet make sure the row still has multiples of two across and then you're just going to go ahead and start your next row of bean stitch in the same way where you just work chain one and start working in the next stitch. So there you go, there's a demonstration of the bean stitch. And this stitch is utilized in the pattern for the bean stitch beanie.